Good afternoon and welcome to St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in the Green Lake neighborhood of Seattle. I'm so glad you could join us for this, the first Wednesday in Advent. My name is Reverend Rebecca Kirkpatrick and I am the Priest Associate for Children, Youth and Families. Our service begins in our bulletin that you can find attached to our newsletter or on the YouTube link. Let us begin worship with a couple of deep breaths. Do not be afraid, God is with us always. Shepherd of Israel, may Jesus, who is Emmanuel and son of Mary, be more than just a dream in our hearts. With the apostles, prophets, and saints, save us, restore us, and lead us in the way of grace and peace, that we may bear your promise into the world. Amen. The Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebearers, to Abraham and his children forever. Our scripture reading comes from John 16 verses 21 to 22. When a woman is in labor, she is in pain because her hour has yet to come. But when her child is born, she no longer remembers the anguish because of the joy of having brought a human being into the world. So you have pain now, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy from you. Our meditation today comes from Wendell Berry. He asks, will this satisfy a woman satisfied to bear a child? Will this disturb the sleep of a woman near to giving birth? As we seek our own renewal, we look at others through the lens of compassion. How will this point of view affect our choices? For our deepest and most holy longings, we pray. Renew us, O God, for all who wander, hunger, and thirst. Renew us as a people of service and compassion. For this planet, our home, renew our will to be healers of creation. For this in every nation, renew in all people the will for good and the longing for peace for those whom we hold in our hearts. I now invite you to say any prayers of thanksgivings or intercessions at this time. Bless these in all creation with your goodness and renew our trust in your love. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. 
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Do not be afraid, for God is with us always. Amen.